times today have we heard it. We are the great church. We are the church of Christ. We are the church of God. We are the, the so-and-so. It makes the people get a fear and think that that really is where God's working. And they don't want the leadership of the Holy Spirit. They'd rather follow a man like that because they like to live their own individual life. They like to believe what they want to believe. Yes, Do you see the Holy Spirit is our judge? Amen. God never give us a pope or a bishop or anybody Amen. to be a judge. The Holy Spirit, the person of God in the form of the Holy Spirit is our judge and our guide. Amen. Now, why is that? Please pardon this rude and most rude expression. I do not mean it to be mean. I say it from love. But the Holy Spirit says it's wrong for our women to cut their hair. Yes. And it's wrong for our women to wear little shorts and slacks. And to make up their lips and face with paint. The Holy Spirit says it's wrong. Amen. But we want man to tell us that it's all right. That's right. As long as we follow me and Samuel. They like to live through six days any way they want to. Yes. And go to church on Sunday morning and a fine intellectual college graduate with plenty of degrees can speak to them a little sermon that will, a few jokes in it that would tickle their ears and cause them to be entertained like some movie or television program. And say a little prayer over them and send them home with kind of a a self-satisfied security yes. that they've done their religion. That is not the will of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit wants you to live godly every day in the week and every night. Separating yourselves from the things of the world. But the church don't want that. They want some man who can, who can interpret the Bible the way that they want to hear it. They won't listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit speaking through the Bible. Many of them want to say the days of miracles is past. That's what tickles the people. They want to say there's no baptism of the Holy Spirit. The people don't want to act any different than what the rest of the world acts. They don't want to get on the street and uh, to have their face washed and, and man with clean accountants and not cigarettes in their mouth and, and um, uh, cigars and pipes and, and the things that man do. And women want their hair cut up real short and and uh, little dresses on and uh, showing their farms and things, that they want, they, they want man who will tell them that's all right. Yes. Then the other night, here come a man to tell me that because that I had preached against such, that a great denomination, about five of them, said we'll drop Brother Branham and have nothing else to do with him. You'll either call those tapes back and apologize for him or we'll drop you. I said, I'll stand with God's Amen. Word. Amen. If it takes everything that's in my life, I'll remain with Amen. the Word. And I said, well, should you not call back such and such a tape? I said, I have never preached anything in my life that I was ashamed of. Amen. Amen. 
I call back no tapes or no records. I remain with what the Holy Spirit says that I live by and die by. Not trying to say about myself now, but I'm just trying to give you an illustration of what's going on so you will see and understand. It's people wants to be led by man.